The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 5th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877 927 6648. And if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. Now, this, you need to send it off early and send an email to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside the Tigers, then, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we, tra uh, that we track are trading the upside. Dow is up 224, S&P 45, NASDAQ 100, 205, Russell's up 7, kind of a weak bounce there, 52 for the semis, 59 for the trannies. You've got gold up 32 bucks, big move there, 1 to 4 tenths percent. You've got uh, silver up 16 pennies at 6 tenths percent. Lights be crude up 7 tenths or 64 cents. Natural gas is up 2 cents. 1% move to the upside. The 30-year Treasury is down basically one point, printed out at 117.14. Now, our leader in the clubhouse out there is Azimil Holdings, up 30 bucks, 3%. Service now, 23 bucks, 3%. MicroStrategy, 17 bucks, 1%. Broadcom, 23 bucks, 2%. HubSpot is uh, 21 bucks, 3% to the upside. To the downside, Enphase Energy off 7 bucks, a 6% move there. Northrop Grumman down about 6 bucks, 1%. Tesla off 5, 2 and 6 tenths percent there. John Bean Technologies down five bucks and charter communications off four dollars so uh, we got plenty to look at of course i want to look at what you want to look at let's go take a look at this crazy week in the uh, markets let's start by taking a look at um let's switch over to our white background screens let's just go through this one step at a time and take a look and see if we can try to figure out where the market is headed to uh, and so we we'll start with the uh daily we'll start with the nq which got hammered yesterday Big swoon to the downside. What we do know is that oscillator and change line, that is a major significance level out there. What we also know is that 18026 is a very key level of support. It's been tested several times. That is the center of its bearish structured profile out there. And that is a key level. If we ever get down below that, 17761 would certainly be in the cards. Now, with price above the top of the profile, no idea where it will close today, but a close above 18224 would suggest a run again for that oscillator and change on at the 18485 level. That's one possibility. You'll see that yesterday was bar number seven. Now, I thought we got below, let's see, the low, 18051.50, yeah, we did. So I, 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 my tool's not, uh, I, I guess it's not on bar. Okay. In any event, so today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. That is, unless price closes above, and that would be one heck of a rally, and I don't think that's going to happen, unless price closes above, 18,497. So I'll become bar number eight. In order for bar number nine to complete of a TD9 count bottom pattern, price must close below the close of bar number five, which is basically where we're trading right now. That close is at 18,330 or 18,294 out there. So those are the factors to kind of take a look at. We may not get that TD9 count bottom. Do we need that? 
Um, look, what we need to know is that 18026 is a real key level of support out there. Now, let's look at the five-hour time frame chart. That waterfall cascade yesterday took us right down to where price had broken out on a five-hour time frame, 1803325. I mean, right down to it. And then what took place in the overnight session at about 9 o'clock last night, we got to wave number seven. That is letter G out there. So that's a bottom, and price right now is trading above uh, its oscillator and change line. But if you look real closely, let me just expand it out so we can all look a little bit closer. There's a new profile that is forming, and this is above price. That's overhead resistance out there, and it's a bearish message for this time frame. But with price, as long as price remains above 18.264, its message to you and I is that price should rally up to 18.413 to 18.464. 18.413 being the most likely area. So that says we can get all the way back, nearly all the way back to where price just simply fell off the cliff yesterday. If we take a look at the 240 minute time frame chart, what do we get here? We got a wave number seven bottom as well. Price is above its oscillator and change line. New profile forming above price. Just like the five hour again. So this suggests now, and that's at 18,413. So 18,413 seems like a logical target as long as price remains above that oscillator and change line for those time frames. Bar number seven on a two hour time frame chart. This bar completes at noon, I believe. Yeah. So you get bar number seven at noon, bar number eight at two. It says you could get the, uh, so maybe we're just simply going to rally into the close, but that could set up a TD9 count pattern for the uh, two hour time frame chart. I don't see such a pattern in the 60 minute. The 60 minute is telling you and I that the market wants to rally further out there. So that's just keep your eye on those red oscillator and change lines for the 240 and the five hour time frame chart. It's suggesting that price would rally up to 18,413. Son of a gun. We got 18,413 on a two hour chart, a four hour chart, a five hour chart, a 60 minute chart. If I ask the question, where do you think the rally would run into real strong resistance out there? Yeah, exactly. 18,413 out there. Now, on a 10 minute time frame, if we want to do the play by play, uh, we're completing a uh, TD9 count top. That pattern completes in another uh, seven minutes out there. That would suggest price pulls back to the 18,237 area. If price gets below 18,237, then that says that you can get back to test 18,162 to 18,177. That's what the NQ is doing out there. So keep an eye, I would say, on that 10 minute chart. Uh, to uh, maybe probably a 10 and a five minute chart, just just simply to get an idea um, as to what the market is doing. Let's go take a look at the ES Mini out here. Let's get its charts. It's going to take just a moment for these to uh, populate. Um, now, if you didn't catch the if you didn't catch the uh, 9 a uh, the 9 a.m. the 11 o'clock update yesterday was a question from John inside the Tiger Stand about potential new profiles that were forming in uh, gold and silver, and the answer is there is new profiles that are attempting to form there. I'll just give those to you while this chart here finishes populating. So those profile levels in the case of gold. And it won't be com won't be confirmed for me until Sunday evening. This is a new profile it's attempting to form, but it's still in place out there, so it's worth paying attention. Twenty two seventy one is support. Twenty two ninety eight is the center, and twenty three twenty five is the top. And we're well above that twenty three twenty five level out there. We'll take a look at gold. I believe we still got a TD nine count pattern to contend with out here. So now let's get back into and silver. By the way, its profiles are below price, which is a bullish message. Its profiles are twenty four seventy six at support. Twenty five sixty four is resistance. Of course, we're trading well above that. That was the top of the profile. So now we come back to this break. We'll finish taking a look at the ES Mini. Of course, we haven't begun doing that. And then we'll go on to a couple of requests that have come in. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Would love to hear from you as well. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome about back, folks. So when we were taking, I'm taking a look at the ES mini charts. If we take, uh, if we so on a daily time frame, yesterday's move, you can see that oscillator and change line. How how significant that is uh, from a resistance standpoint. Uh, right now, we just have an inside bar. We're trading with inside its profiles. Price did pull back yesterday to its buy zone. That's between 51.67 and 51.89 out there. What we don't have on the charts out here are the same type of bottoming signals that we took a look at inside the NQ. Um, and so and we, can't, we, have, we can't see even that price is pulled back. If we look at the 10-minute chart out there, um, you know, I, can, I can see a sell the D point pattern uh, because of the dark cloud cover candle that finished at 11.10 11, um, 11, out there. But now this candle here, you know, right, it's going to complete in another minute or less, has pulled back and has tested and rejected a key level of support. And that's at 52.31 level, both the oscillator and change line and the top of the profile. So from an intraday standpoint, I would I think that the market has taken its cues from the NQ out there simply because I don't have the real same type of patterns out here uh, for the ES mini. But that uh, 10 minute chart is something I would be paying attention to knowing that we had to sell the D point pattern and price pulled back in a successfully tested support. This could be suggesting that it wants to continue to move higher out there. So let's go take a look at some requests that have come in. And uh, the first one is from uh, Dan inside the Tiger's Den. He's got a twofer. The first one's going to be ticker symbol ABUS. ABUS is uh, trading out at about $3.15. One heck of a, a move a couple of days ago. Um, so from a pattern standpoint, let me open up this daily time frame. Let's pull this back a bit, make it a little bit easier to view. So we can easily see the A to B, C to D pattern out there let's just kind of give it feel so we're i believe we're in the extended zone but let's just take a look at this we have a looks like about right there is the a point here's the b point and we'll just simply copy and paste this so i'm going to try to come on grab it there we go let's copy let's paste let's pull this over Sorry, Dan, don't know what's causing this uh, little delay here. So there's your one-to-one. -one. So this has achieved and attained the one-to-one -one price projection level out there. 
Uh, so what I'd be looking for here, Dan, is if you were to see a bearish reversal candle, uh, that would identify a sell the D point pattern. That would suggest price pulls back to support. Uh, unless there's a new profile that forms, support would be at about $2.72 out there. Uh, you are in bar number uh, seven of a TD9 count. Let me take a look at these wave counts out here. We got A, B. And you're potentially in wave number seven as well. Um, so you could be getting, this could be getting ready to identify a short term top. I say could be. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart, and there's there's really a couple different A to B equals CD patterns. That's why, you know, a little bit hesitant because here I'm showing the same one on the weekly that we had on the that we had on the daily. Let's try the new one that's out there. There's another one, and you always have to as as the market gives you new information, you have to be prepared. Part of the A to B equals CD pattern, you must be prepared to redraw or add an additional A to B equals CD. So there's the the larger one. If we take a look at its swing point, the swing point was from February 23rd, 3.8 million shares. This week, wide-ranging bar were 24 million shares. So the larger pattern out there is going to look like this. Give me a moment. I'll paste this up here, and I'll try to get an approximation. We'll even take – got to pull this over. Here we go. So the approximation on this one – is uh, gets you up towards the uh, 355, 360 ish level. And when we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, we're trading above last month's high, the month before is high out there. This is, we're trying to be above prior uh, swing highs out here. A key level really to watch, Dan, would be this uh, $3.15 mark. We're at 316 right now. You maintain a price above that level, and this is suggesting 401 out there. So A bus looks really good. I still, there's still, you know, two A to B equals CD patterns. If you get a bearish reversal candle, wouldn't be surprised to see some kind of retracement back towards uh, support. So uh, best of luck to you there. Hope that information assisted you. You also want to take a look at. One of our friends out here, Saba, S-A-V-A. It turns out Saba had an A to B equal CD to the downside, never got to the uh, completion out there. And uh, the reason it didn't was because it formed that TD sequential count. That's at number 13 uh, right here at the uh, that took place on March the 11th. Now, in order for that pattern to confirm, which it did that very next session, you've got to see a close above the close four bars earlier. So you have on the daily time frame a TD sequential bottom. Price right now is trading above the top of its daily profile, 2073. You'd love to see it remain above that and trade above that again on a Monday. So the question is, is this getting ready to form an A to B equals CD to the upside? Well, the swing point that would be the B point of this trade would be from March 14th. And that had volume of a million shares. You're moving up today. You're at 142,000. You're trading inside that swing point. You're doing light volume out there. But it does look like to me that this wants to continue to move higher and at least go tackle that swing high up at the 2242 level. If you get above that, you'll trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Before all that's going to come to fruition, we can see that price has got to overtake 2147. 2147 at the present time is the reading of its oscillator and change line for that weekly time frame. We can can see that for the last two, four, six, seven weeks out there, price has struggled to get it's gotten above, but by the time the week has ended, it has traded below that. So I'd watch 2147 as a key area. And if we get above that, we're likely going to go to 2487, then 2436 to 2565 out there. You get above 2565, you're off to the races to 2702, and then finally 3853. But we like that daily. TD9 sequential bottom signal out there. And you've got a TD9 count on the monthly time frame. You had a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the weekly. And price is just simply, quite frankly, looks like an A to B equals C. It looks like a Gartley buy pattern. Let's go check that out. So this has got, it's got almost everything that you could want out here. To, uh, let's, first, let's see if it actually formed. Did we get to the price projection area? Let's move this over. Sure looks like we did. Holy shnikes. Well, you didn't get all the way down there. And uh, the question is, that would have been at 1706. It's got down to 1818. Is that close enough? I don't know. Watch 2146, though. That's going to be the key to uh, what uh, Saba wants to do uh, from this point forward. So thank you for those requests. Tony F. inside the Tigers Den. He's got a couple of requests as well. The first one is ticker symbol MXWL. Maxwell Smart out there. Actually, I don't. It's just MXL. Uh, and uh, let's see where this is headed to. That's uh, Max Linear, Inc. 
So right now, what price is doing, it is yesterday, it dealt with that TD9 count breakdown resistance level, Tony. And that was at 2303. Looked beautiful. But at the day's end, that proved to be resistance. Will that be resistance today? I do not know. Um, but you want to watch that. If price closed above 2303 and uh, you get another close above that on Monday, then price should go target the high from yesterday, that bearish shooting star. Now, it's called a bearish shooting star. But, Tony, if we were to try to fill in the gap, and I'm talking about from the close of the prior bar, in this case here, to uh, where the uh, uh, to the uh, low, uh, not the low, but the uh, – close of the of yesterday's bar out there if we fill that in there's no way that's a bearish shooting star candle so you had a gap to the upside and a bearish shooting star out there so that's why you fill it in to see which candle is correct out here and so that was really a bullish candle so you're watching 2303 like a hawk 2350 on the weekly time frame we come back to this break we'll finish taking a look at max linear inc and then we'll move on to sn newmont mining and tesla steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter the promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter the promo code 22 years at checkout. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back. Uh, so, Tony, what we know about MXL, Max Linear, is at the top of this profile, the weekly basis at 23.34 and 23.50, these are real key resistance levels that it's struggling to get through. But if it does, you'll be in good shape out there. Now, price should at least go target that swing point from December 29th out there. The volume on that swing point was 2.1 million shares. So far this week, we've tested it and we've rejected it, but with 7.5. When you test the swing point with volume and you reject it, price will get back up there. So, uh, But you are on a weekly basis trading within that uh, uh, that zone of 17.05 to 23.34. Thereabouts, got a nice TD9 count bottom on the monthly. Looks like it wants to eventually get up to 26.53 out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at MXWL. You also want to take a look at ticker symbol SN for Saturday Night Live out there. If we take a look at SN, what do we see out here? Well, what we see, it's got a Rosemont indicator signal triggered. That requires a bearish reversal candle. So that's just kind of like, hey, it might rain today. Take your umbrella with you. But what we also know on a daily time frame is prices above resistance. Resistance being it's also and change on at 60 through 09, the top of its profile. This suggests it wants to rally further. Now, what you want to be paying attention to, especially here, if you are long, and I'm not suggesting that you, you I just want to share with you what is likely to happen. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we are in bar number nine of a TD9 count. The last time that this form, this is just an IPO from last year, August, I believe, of last year out here. The first TD9 count on a weekly time frame formed on December 29th. And that led to a uh, pullback that lasted for about one, two, three, for about five weeks or so to the uh, downside out there. Price finding support at the center, which was a slightly bearish structured profile. So that was telling us there was not going to be a change in trend here. That was just a counter trend move to the downside. So you're going to get your second TD9 count. That says we should get a top either this week, next week. Uh, between this week and next week. I'm going to go with you won't get that top until we get a confirmed topping pattern on the daily time frame. And so that says just watch for a bearish reversal candle. Could That that could identify a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And that's what I see when I take a look at uh, uh, Shark Ninja Inc. What a, a great looking chart. You don't see too many IPOs that come out like this and basically just continue to rocket ship forward. Now, it did have that one retracement that we took a look at, really two retracements it's had uh, on a weekly basis since it has taken off to the upside. But it looks like you're getting ready to form at least another short-term top, maybe a three-, four-week uh, pullback out there. So hope that helps you out. Hector wanted to take a look at Newmont Mining. NEM is a ticker symbol. And Hector's asking, you know, is there an A to B equal CD to the upside on the weekly basis? And my answer to that is not really. And the reason is, is because if I were going to try to form it, I would have to use the exact same candle for the B and the C point out there. And Stevie just does not like using that. And that would be the candle session for March the 22nd. But the good news is that what you and I can do is we can take a look at the daily time frame and identify that A to B equals CD uh, to the upside pattern. Because there we don't have to use the same candles. And in essence, it would be doing about the same thing out there. So here's the A to B point out there. Let's just simply cut, copy, paste, and assemble. We'll do the assembling right now. So you've got a one-to-one -one that would take you up into about the 39-38 level. Now, that B point out here had volume of 20 million shares. When it was passed, it was passed with volume of 14 million and then 12 million and then 15 million and then 15 million again. So if you're asking the question, can an A to B equal CD pattern form when it crosses a B point with lighter volume? There is your answer. The answer is, of course, it can out there. So that's just one of the aspects where we take a look at volume out there. What we what we believe is that if the B point is passed with volume, it, it, it increases the odds of at least uh, making that one to one price projection level. So that's the first thing. Got A to B equal CD, the upside bar number seven. Uh, that just says watch for some type of bearish reversal candle. Now, it hasn't completed the pattern. That's up around the 39.50-ish type area. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, there's a couple of different trend lines that you can run in here. You were talking about an A to B equals CD pattern for the, for the weekly time frame chart. You can, from the different sets of swing points out here. So if you go back to January 27th, you'll see a number of swing points, and you can see that price right now is dealing with that. So from a trend that land standpoint, not trend line standpoint, and I went ahead and put another one in here uh, from July 14th. Uh, so price is running into trend line potential trend line resistance out there. The monthly chart says, hey, I don't know what the heck you guys are talking about. I'm inside my profile. I'm above Stevie's red line out there. 
I want to go target 4126 to 4318. I'm on board with that. I think that 4126 is a likely area. So watch these trend lines out here on the weekly time frame. But the A to B equals CD pattern, Hector, when you get to something like this and you really go to the daily because you're really looking, and look, that retracement is quite frankly a little bit less than a 0.382 retracement, but because price did pull back to the bullish structured profile area, we're going to go ahead and use it anyways. But it does look like Newmont Mining wants to continue to move higher. Nicholas is asking the question, what's going on with Tesla? Let's go find out. Let's go see what its stock charts are telling us. So in the case of Tesla, Tesla has a road momentum indicator bottom. It's got a wave number seven bottom out here, and price is just simply testing that swing point. Now, that's a swing point from the trading session of March 14. That swing point did volume of 126 million. It's pulling back today, and so far it's tested and rejected it with 61 million shares. So it's pulling back with volume, even if it does not close, Nicholas, below that swing low at 160.51, that is likely to get tested again. Now, the only thing that is holding it up, or maybe one of the things that are holding up, are the buyers at the bottom of the profile that formed yesterday out there. So that's another area to watch out here. But still, even if that holds, I still believe at least the high of that swing point from March 14th, the high being 171.17, would be tested. You have a new profile out here. That support zone is 165.38. That's your uh, bottom. And the resistance area is at 180.06 on a weekly basis. Uh, what has not happened, there's an A to B equal CD to the downside. We have not seen a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. The monthly chart has got support between 144.30 and where it's trading right now in the 165 zone. So what happened? What happened is it formed that bottom, ran into resistance at the top of its profile, pulled back, and now you got a new profile from yesterday. So that's what's going on, Nicholas. We take a look at Tesla. Hope that helps you out. Rose inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at ticker symbol BE out here. So what do we got going with BE? Hey, look, yesterday... This thing went ahead and ran all the way up to its breakdown level. That's Bloom Energy. That's at the 1242 level. That's its TD9 count breakdown resistance. So, Rose, you know by looking at this daily chart, because you can see price got back to that level once before and then it fell off the planet. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but what we do know is that 1242 is a key resistance level. What you also know is a TD9 count pattern formed a few days ago, and that is still in effect. That will remain in effect unless price closes above. Bar number nine, 1188. We're at 1190 right now. If you close above 1188, that pattern gets negated and likely tells you you're going to make another run for 1242. The weekly time frame has got uh, no uh, topping patterns or anything and no resistance. It says 1539. And if we look at the monthly chart, you're back inside that profile. That's a good thing. Remaining above 1136 is positive and suggests a run towards the 1321 level. So we're going between 1242 to 1321. And you'd love to see this this thing to gate that TD9 count top today. So Rose, look for a close today above 1188. And then you should be back off to those races that take you up to 1242. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97, and with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at ticker symbol AAP. This also is for Rose inside the Tiger's Den. And AAP formed a TD9 count top on the trading day of uh, March the 21st out there. This is Advanced Auto Parts. And right now today, and it's got an A to B equal CD to the downside pattern. It has achieved more than the one-to-one. -one. No reason for me to draw that in there. You can visually see that. What's important, though, today is whether or not price holds 78.89. 78.89 is the uh, bottom of its daily profile. Now, I see a little gap out here that formed on the trading day of March the 12th. What kind of volume was there? 4.5 million shares. So far today, we're pulling back with 517,000. So it's possible, possible, that maybe this is going to find support, you know, in between this uh, gap out here. But you got to be careful because a close below 78.89 on the daily time frame, two consecutive closes rose, say this could be pulling back to 70.45. That's its breakout level. But it is coming into a gap with some lighter volume. So it's got some potential there. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart, uh, well, this would be a three river evening star candle formation. So that would generate a sell to D point pattern. There is a new profile that formed this week. This is in a profile as support between 6303 and 7154. 8856 is your resistance level. So that's what I see when I take a look at uh, AAP, uh, Advanced Auto Parts. Now, what should take place is this should rally. Let's take a look at it. Here's your 30 minute time frame chart. On a 30 minute basis, forms a TD9 count bottom at 11 o'clock, just so we're coming on the air. You've got a new profile out here. Now, it's below price, it's above price, so it's somewhat bearish. Uh, so your resistance, you got a couple resistance levels, 78.64 and 78.90. If you get above 78.90, you've got two more battles. Those are at 79.76 and 80.14. So you got the bottom pattern out here. Watch to see if this can get through all of that sludge. If it can't, and you negate this TD9 count bottom by closing below that low that came in this morning, that low out here is at uh, 77.52. That would be your signal that this is going to head lower. Now, whether it gets through the gap and gets all the way to that breakout level at 70.45, I wish I could tell you. But this is right now, it's looking like lower price is most likely at this moment in time. So, Rose, I hope that helps you out. CKP inside the Tiger's Den. 
wants to go take a look at a 30-year treasury. So let's go take a look and see what those charts are signaling to you and I. Let's get, these are a multi time frame set of charts out there. Monthly price pulling back and testing a key level of support. The same thing on the weekly base, although the weekly looks like it's going to close below that red oscillator and change line. And if it does that, you could see move back to the 113, 115 area out there on a daily time frame. At this stage here, I would say two closes below 117.25 out there. That's a breakout area. Would say that we're headed down into the 116 zone. That's an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Now, there is support because that formed a three river morning star pattern. So there is some additional support out here. That's low from April 30th. And that is at the price point of 116.24 out there. Um, so that's what I see at this moment in time as I take a look at the uh, 30 year intraday, other signals. Nothing that really jumps out at me uh, out here. So I'd be paying attention mostly to the daily time frame chart because the weekly is kind of saying, hey, you know what, I'm ready for lower price out there. But that confirmation has got to come from the daily, and it really needs that close below the uh, low from May the April the 3rd out there. So CKP, I hope that provided the information you were looking for on the 30-year. Ray in Sarasota writes in he'd like to take a look at Agnico Eagle. AEM is the ticker symbol. So let's get back to uh, hopefully that chart is not there. Let's try this next one. One should be it. And now we take a look at AEM. AEM is, I think it's one of the top three or four holdings. Is it not inside the GDX? Somebody in the dem probably knows off the top of their head. Well, here's the deal. If AEM closes above the high from two days ago, and the high from two days ago was 61.89, it will negate its TD9 count top. And that will suggest that we have a strong momentum move underway for Agnico Eagle. Now, there's an A to B equals CD pattern that's in play out here as well. So let's pull... Heck, let's pull this back. Let's kind of draw this in. I'll just draw on the A to B line, then we'll move that over to that uh, C point out there or thereabouts. So here's your A to B equals C to D pattern out here. Come on, grab it. There we go. And that price projection is up at the um, is up at the 6690 level. Now there's a TD13. There's a, a combo. Uh, uh, a signal that is out there, but that still requires a close below the bar four bars ago. So just be aware of that. But right now, this is suggesting that this wants to go ahead and make a move to at least, the reason I say at least because it's B to C retracement, there ain't no way that's a 0 0.382 retracement out there. Um, but negating that TD9 count top on the daily time frame would be a big deal. On a weekly time frame, this thing is negating, uh, well, not negating, but it's trading above, it's taken out, it's TD9 count breakdown resistance level, it's taken out a swing point. There's a larger A to B equals CD pattern. I don't know if this is the same or not, but we'll just simply draw this one in here on a weekly basis. Let's take a look at volume. That weekly volume on that swing was from May 5th, 16 million shares. So far this week, you are at 19 million shares. So on a weekly basis, Agnico Eagle is generating a confirmed A to B equals CD. That says that we get back to its highs out here. And those are the highs from April 22nd. That was a TD nine count top on the weekly time frame. That says Ignico Eagle wants to get back to the $67-ish area out there. So again, look for that close above the daily time frame that we gave to you because that would be that few, that would be that signal that that's the move that is underway. On a monthly time frame, you are trading above profile resistance at 6105. So Ray, AEM looks muy bueno. Let's go take a look at that Nat uh, NAT, Nordic American Tankers. That's also from Ray in Sarasota. Nordic American Tankers doesn't look as good as Ignico Eagle. What it's doing right now, it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile, which is at four bucks. If it closes below that, could be signaling Ray that this wants to make a move back to its next level of support, which would be that oscillator and change line. And that's printed at 393. On a weekly time frame, you've got a TD9 count bottom that completes this week. You're with inside the profile your consolidation range or your trading range, 389 at support and 431 at resistance on a monthly time frame. Too early in the month to make any call out here, but it still has a TD nine count top that is in place out there. In order for that to get negated and say longer term you're off the races, you must see a close above four dollars and sixty five cents out there. So right now, intraday, I'm uh, not intraday, but daily looks like this may want to pull back. Um, weekly says you're not going to pull back too far. Uh, three ninety three. That would make sense because the bottom of his profile is three eighty nine. So Ray, thanks so much for writing in. We got G man inside the Tigers that wants to take a bite out of the. Apple. So let's go take a look at AAPL, see what it is doing out here. It has formed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern. It did that a couple of days ago. And now what we're doing is trading. Well, where are the profiles? It's trading. It's trying to get back inside the profile, both the bottom 
and the center are at the same price level. And that price level is one sixty nine ninety five. So, gee, man, you'd love to see, and we're trading at one sixty nine ninety six. You'd love to see a close above one sixty nine ninety five. If you do that, it would signal to Stevie that Apple wants to make a move to one seventy two eighty eight on a weekly time frame. Bar number eight is going to form. I take that back. A TD nine count. The bar number eight will only form if Apple closes below today. That is one seventy two sixty two. Well, you might get that out there. Uh, so I take that back. So you could get bar number eight today. Uh, so this could be forming a TD nine count bottom. Uh, that could take place. Uh, you get a confirmation of that uh, next week out there. Monthly chart consolidating with inside is profiles. That's a very structured profile, G man. Typically, when you close below the center, it says you want to get to 147 to 1, the bottom of that profile. But watch the daily. The daily time frame will be the one right now because we've got that confirmed bottoming pattern to let us know whether we're headed lower or not. Close inside that profile level, we're likely headed higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, oh, folks. If I hadn't said thank you, I do want to say thank you to each of you that have written in or called in uh, during this week, uh, offering uh, a request uh, for uh, uh, for instruments to take a look at. It just makes my role here so much easier when you do that. So I do want to say thank you. It's much appreciated. Well, I'll take a look at the next request. It's from ELO inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at DKS. DKS right now has got that Rhodesman indicator top. It looks like it's got a TD9 count top out there. Uh, and price is trading in its buy zone right now. 
So you know, the buy zone is between the 20504 and the exact number is uh, 20951. That's the uh, bullish structure daily profile. If price were to close below 20504, this would say we're headed lower. You've got a weekly TD9 count top as well. And that says price could pull back to 199.60, 193.52. But we don't know about that until price would have to first crack the support level, the buy zone on the daily time frame. Monthly chart looks healthy at this moment in time out there. So watch this buy zone. Do I have anything on an intraday chart for ELO? Well, let's take a look. Here is the 30-minute time frame chart. What do we have? We've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom, but price found resistance up at that 212.63 level. That's going to be your key area of resistance on any rally out there for DKS, but maybe you're not going to get any rally. Maybe you're just going to go test that uh, support uh, bottom out there. Uh, so, ELO, I hope that helps you out. And as always, thank you for your request. Let's go take a look. Let's finish the show out by taking a look at what's going on inside the NQ. When we began the show, we identified a specific price level that likely price was going to rally towards. And that's that was 18413. That's the bottom of the new five hour profile, the bottom of the new four hour profile, the bottom of the new two hour profile, the bottom of the 60 minute profile out there. And we take a look at the other time frames, the only potential topping signals on a 15 minute basis. That says that you get a TD9 count top at 12 and a 1215. That completes that pattern. Just like the TD9 count top on the 10 minute bar, that just may pull back to test support, support being the oscillator and change line to the top of its profile. Right now, that would be a decent move to the downside. You're at 18265. Five or thereabouts, and 18,353 is where we're trading. So watch at least the 15-minute chart. It could negate that TD9 count pattern altogether, and that would tell you 18,413 is in the cards. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. Again, thanks for all your assistance this week. I'll look forward to the same next week. Have a fabulous Friday, fantastic weekend. We'll see you on Monday.